Hey guys, this is Manuel Delta Lima 2, Mike Alpha November, and in this video I'm going to show you how to tweak the filter section of a completely new build uh, kit in this case. And for that we need to figure out the, the situation first. Um, in this case I see too much power on uh, uh, 80 meters, 7.06 watts and only 75-76% efficiency. Um, power too high, efficiency too low. So let's see how we fix that. Um, all the other bands are basically okay. By the way, this is all with 12 volts. Um, power supply 12 volts here. 4.85 watts, 81%. 40 meter, 4.5 watts, 79, yeah, around about 80%. This could be a little bit increased. 4.9 watts and 81% on 30 meters. 4.6 watts and almost 80% on 20 meter. I think we can get a few percents there as well. So basically, uh, this is already it. <clears throat> um, I mean, I wouldn't dare to, to hit the bands with that rig. However, we as uh, radio amateurs have a responsibility and to, to make sure we are not uh, uh, creating harmonics. <clears throat> so let's do that. So how am I tweaking a filter? First of all, it's, it's a two-folded thing. Um, step one is I switch it to the band I want to tweak. So let's really start with the 20 meter band as this is the most sensitive one, the most complicated one, the more, most uh, tricky one to tweak. Um, but I have no doubt we will get here very soon. So band is switched to 20 meter. So we know we, we need to tweak the 20 meter section. Then I disconnect the power supply. And just a remark, whenever I'm working under current, under power, under voltage with that rig, I always have that part of the housing present here. Always. Why? <clears throat> it prevents that accidentally something is touching and shorting here. So on this other side we have the inter-PCB connection. And on this side I stabilize it by this part of the housing. Okay, so we switched it to 20 meters. I'm going to disassemble it. I'm picking up my nano VNA and I'll be back with an explanation. Okay, uh, this is an adapter I built myself from uh, SMA connector, SMA connector like this one. And a simple header. Just soldered it together and that's it. So with this adapter connected to port 1 S11 <clears throat> I insert at pins RF and ground. Center pin obviously to RF and outer pin to ground. And port 2 S21 I'm connecting to the SMA connector of the RF board. So, and immediately we can see here a curve. Obviously, I chose the wrong band, so I'm going to recall my initial calibration between 10 and 60 megahertz. <clears throat> I'm changing the trace, switching off trace 1, sorry, trace 0. <clears throat> then I'm going to add, well, let's go back and put the... Uh, select the frequency range a little bit more wise. 
in this case, we want to check the 20 meter band, which means uh, we are expecting our fundamental at around 14 megahertz and our second harmonic at around 28 megahertz. So I'm going to narrow that down. I'm starting at 10 megahertz and I'm stopping at 30 megahertz. Okay. Now let's have a look. I'm going to add a second marker. And put that one to 28 megahertz. 28.2 oh. more. <laughs> it's already spot on. Nothing to tune here. And I put... Oh, that's a problem here. Give me a second. I'm going to set the start frequency at 10 megahertz. It is at 10 kilohertz. It was at 10 kilohertz. So now let's put the first marker at around center frequency. Actually, from what I can see here, I would actually not tune anything. <laughs> That's, that's crazy. Um, especially the second harmonic notch is spot on. Um, you cannot uh, judge the, the pass band because um, the RF board, the serial resonance uh, circuit is a 8 to 10 ohm system and the nano VNA is a 50 ohm system. So the uh, passband frequency is not accurate. This would be resonant at 14.6. I assume just from the experience that this is already a little bit on the low side. But what I'm going to do, yeah, I'm, I'm leaving that here because it's, it's perfect. The second harmonic notch is exactly where it's supposed to be. So we are done with step one. If you are not there, then you need to tweak. Um, yeah, let, let me explain first. We have per filter section, we have two coils. The coil number one, this is L11. Uh, L11 means of K1, the first relay, the first band slot, coil one is the serial resonance coil. This one is responsible for the pass band and L12, so coil two of K1, is the pi filter coil, um, which is also responsible for the second harmonic notch. And if I would tweak that, it would shift my frequency here. I could tweak it by spreading them apart or pushing them together. Pushing them together increases uh, inductance and setting them apart decreases inductance. So this is how you could tune that. What I'm going to do now, I do not touch that because we already confirmed it is spot on. So this one doesn't get touched anymore. <clears throat> what I'm going to do now is I'm jumping back to putting it uh, uh, to the main board uh, under current and then I'm playing around with that coil and try to tweak uh, efficiency and output power again. Okay, we're back. Now let's check where we are. Around, around about 80%, 4.65 watts, the same as we were before. Surprise, since we didn't change anything. So let's have a look at this coil. I'm trying to divide the amount of turns more equally here. So we have the lowest possible inductance. Okay. Now let's have a look again. This increased power a little bit and the efficiency stayed about the same. Okay. So maybe, just a guess, maybe. Since power is now really good, I, I wouldn't expect more. If, if we wanted to increase power in that case and 
we wouldn't get anywhere here with uh, separating that. I told you it is uh, separating them is lowering the inductance. And if you want, let's say we are at four watts at this point, um, you would now and, and still couldn't or, or three watts at this point and still wouldn't get uh, the, the amount of power you want, then you would need to remove one turn. But as you can see, this is the exact amount of turns that is required by schematic. And it works just out of the box. Uh, so the, the numbers are accurate if you provide the right components. Um, good. So let's have another look at the 80 meter section um, here. Because that one is actually too high in power. I don't like that. Um, I would like to have more like 4.5, 5 watts, maybe 6 watts, um, because otherwise you're risking to blow the BS 170s. I mean, they are more robust than other FETs we used in the past. However, I, I do not want to ask for trouble. <laughs> um, and I like to have some more, how should I say? Uh, more buffer or spare um, so we can afford to have bad SWR because imagine if you're now pushing them to the edge with seven or eight watts in a, un, under good conditions uh, as soon as your SWR gets bad they get more reflected power and they easily blow up or more easily blow up Okay, just another theory, um, because we are on 80% efficiency, we might get better efficiency if we increase that choke inductor. Uh, I, I initially thought when I started with, with all this that this is completely uncritical and I, I left it at, I think, 50 micro Henry. But you can affect the efficiency uh, changing that coil. Just as a side mark. Okay, so now let's focus on the uh, 80 meter band. I switched it there. I'm disconnecting it and I'm connecting it again to the nano VNA. Okay, so I changed start frequency to 1 megahertz, stop frequency to 10 megahertz for the 80 meter band. <clears throat> what we can see here, we are the pass band I told you to ignore, but the, the trend is always the same. Um, we are seeing some peak above the desired frequency. In this case, my marker sits on 3.6 and you can see uh, passband or insertion loss decreases above that frequency. It's the same we saw before on the 20 meter band. I set the second harmonic notch or my marker to 7.2 megahertz. You can see we would be actually quite on there. It's quite sharp, but it's a little bit on the high side. So we are taking care about that now. And all it takes is usually just a little bit playing around with that. With that coil here. See, now I changed it in the wrong direction. This means I need to increase. Yeah, see, so now we're spot on. Um, by compressing the turns, I've put the second harmonic notch marker exactly where I want it to be. You can, you can really fine tune that, uh, with that, uh, method. Okay. So now let's go back to the rig and see what this has changed. So now we are at 7.05 watts <coughs> and 70 six percent efficiency <clears throat> to decrease the amount of power i'm increasing this coil um, this inductance i'm pushing the turns together let's see what happens seven watts We need to increase inductance here. Whoa! Let's 
6.92 watts, 76% efficiency. So this is the right direction. We gotta increase this. Okay. I'll be right back. So I've compressed it as good as I can and it looks like it cannot be compressed further. This actually <clears throat> means I need to uh, wind that coil again because I need to add one turn. Just have a look. Okay, that's ridiculous. 6.7 watts, 77% efficiency. Um, yeah, <laughs> this, this is luxury problems, right? Um, but remember that when whenever you need to increase power, which will be much more often the case, then you need to remove one turn in case you are you're maxed out like like so. And in this case, it's the opposite. I need to add one turn because the power is too high. I want to be around five watts maximum, five six watts at twelve volt. So. I changed that coil, that uh, 80 meter serial resonance coil, which is L51, now to 20 turns. Uh, it should be initially 19 turns. Um, power was too high, so I increased inductance. Let's see where we're at. 5.8 watts, 77, 78% efficiency. Okay, that's good enough. I mean, I could increase this further. Um, but yeah, <laughs> who would do that, right? And another thing to keep in mind is, uh, it's, it's not all about power and efficiency. Well, it is. Um, but if you go to the upper portion of the band, see, I got also almost 80% of efficiency and are below, uh, five watts. So that's also something to, to consider and, uh, to keep in your mind. Um, so we call that successful. The 80 meter band is now okay. We tweak the 20 meter band. I'm now going to do that for all the other bands. I think we're done here because uh, there's no point showing you on video doing the same thing over and over again. I think this shows pretty well um, what is uh, need to be done. I hope it was uh, understandable. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask here in the comment section or join our forum at forum.dl2man.de. There will be lots of people asking questions. We have a specific troubleshooting section where you can get help from others. And if you like my videos, please consider subscribing to my channel. Uh, leave a like and uh, yeah, comment what you think. 73, good luck. Bye bye.